All right. So as I said in the last video that I'm going to be bringing in questions that the examiner might ask in a scenario like this. So here's one question. The, you basically, I'm sure you guys remember what we did in the last video. So now you have to find out the probability that both balls are the same color. All right. So first you got to think that in how many ways can that happen? Meaning in how many ways can I satisfy the condition that is being uh, in how many ways can I satisfy the condition that's been given in the question, which is both balls are the same color, right? So what uh, basically there are two ways in which this can happen and they are it's possible that the first two balls turn out to be blue, all right? Or now here's what I want you want you to do. Whenever you think of or, all right, whenever you think of multiple ways of satisfying the same requirement, so what you do is you simply add the probabilities up, right? So here's what I thought. I thought that both of them may be blue, all right? In that case, they'll be the same color or both of them may be red. So that means the first and the second, both of them could be red. Even in that case as well, they both happen to be of the same color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the probability of drawing two blue balls one after the other or without replacement so the probability that i draw a blue ball in the first attempt is four over eight as you can see four over eight and then the probability of drawing a blue in the second attempt is three over seven so four over eight times three over seven plus now let's find out the probability of drawing two red balls consecutively one after the other basically so the first time that you can draw a red ball is three over eight as you can see and the second time that can happen is two over seven so three over eight times two over seven all right so let's figure this out so four over four into three is 12 eight into seven is 56 all right let's not simplify it right now we'll do that in the next step three into two is six eight times seven is 56 again that's entirely up to you if you want to simplify it earlier go ahead there's absolutely nothing wrong with that so 12 plus 6 is 18 18 over 56 so now since they're both even i'm going to start with uh, simplifying by two so that's going to give me nine over 28 now can i simplify this any further no i can't all right, so here I've written part two of the same question. And in this, we have to figure out the probability that the first is red and the second is green. Now in this, the order is specified. So that means I'm only gonna consider the probability of the first being the red. And now whatever you think of the term and, remember to multiply the probability. And the second is green. So that's what I have to do. The first draw, probability of drawing red in the first attempt times the probability of drawing green in the second all right so that means since i'm starting with red so i'm going to look at the probability of drawing the red gumball in the first attempt so that clearly is three over eight times the probability so that means i'm going to go straight in front of red and see what the probability of drawing a green gumball is so that's equal to one over seven so three over eight times one over seven is going to be equal to three over 56 now this cannot be simplified any further so i'm just going to have to leave it as it is all right, so here we have part three. Now, part three may seem very similar to part two, but there's actually a catch. I can satisfy this by drawing a red in the first attempt and then drawing a green in the second, right? Or I can satisfy this by drawing a green in the first and a red in the second. So I need to figure out the probability of, of drawing a red in the first attempt and drawing a green in the second. So if you notice, this is something that we've already done. So I'm just going to copy paste that probability as it is. So that's three over 56 or so remember or always translates into plus the probability of drawing a green in the first and red in the second. All right. So let's find that out. So the odds of drawing a green in the first are one over eight times the odds of drawing red in the second are three over seven. All right. So let's just simplify this. So this is three over 56 plus three over 56. So that becomes six over 56. Now, since they're both even, obviously I can, uh, I'm gonna simplify the two. So six over 56, if I simplify them with uh, two, can be written as three over 28, and then they can't be simplified any further. So that's that. All right, so here's part four of the same video in which we have to find out the probability that both balls are of different color, all right? So let's just underline the keyword, which is different. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video, and I want you to write down the number of ways in which we can have two balls such that they both happen to be of different colors. So I'm assuming you just did that. So this can be said if the first ball happens to be blue and the second happens to be red, right? Or this can be said if the first ball happens to be blue and the second happens to be green, 
or this can be said if the first one happens to be red and the second one happens to be blue or this one this can be said if the first one happens to be red and the second happens to be green and we're not done yet this can be said if the first happens to be green the second blue or finally the first happens to be green and the second happens to be red now i know what you're thinking that uh, we're not going to do this we're not going to calculate the probability of all these events because that's going to take forever and you're right we're not going to do it why because i'm going to give you a shortcut now the shortcut here is now, what I want you to do is, I want you to think of the opposite of part four. I mean, what do you think will be the opposite of both balls are of different color? So the opposite of that would be that both balls are of the same color. So that means if I know the probability that both balls are gonna be of the same color, so with the help of this, I can very conveniently figure out the probability that both balls are of different color. So how is that? Because of this concept, that the sum of probability is always equal to one. So the probability of different is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability of opposite of different, which basically means the probability of same color. So if I want to figure out the probability that the two balls are of different color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 1 and from it I'm going to subtract the probability that both balls are of same color, which is 9 over 28. So if I do that, uh, with the help of LCM of course, so the LCM is going to be 28. So that's going to be 28 minus 9. So 28 minus 9 is 17. 17 over 28 is the answer, right? Okay, but before I end this video, here's what I want you to do. This is your homework. Now, I want you to take some time out and I want you to calculate the probability of all these events, all right? Just to be sure. And tell me in the comment section whether it is actually equal to 17 over 28 or not, all right? Just for fun. Okay, so that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz.